Hi team, welcome to your daily sadhana. This is Katie. I am here to guide you through um, a practice that is simply based on just a lot of repetitive movement. Um, there are just some days where I would prefer um, A, not to think, and B, to just feel like things are familiar. And so that's exactly what this practice is designed to do and to be, is we'll go through a few series um, a couple times, two to three times, using that breath to movement pace after we kind of feel like we know what's going on. And that way we can just tap out of the world around us, tap in to the world inside, and just move around within postures that feel really familiar to the body and be able to really check out so that we can actually check in. But I'm looking forward to practicing with you. And if you don't mind grabbing some support systems, so whether that's blocks, pillows, some books, something to lift the ground closer to you, uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Child's pose is where we'll meet. And so for child's pose, you can take this in a few different ways, but your knees can go out only as wide as you want them to be. Sink your hips back to your heels and walk your fingertips forward. I'm gonna place my hands on blocks so that I have a little bit of shoulder opening just to begin. Relax your forehead down onto the floor and start to become very well acquainted with your breath. Not in the necessity to change it, but just needing to get to know it, to feel really comfortable in it, understanding its pace and understanding what it's telling you that you need. Honor a breath in and deepen a breath out. One more to really get to know it. Breathe in and breathe out. Glide forward, find a tabletop position. I'm going to practice with hands on blocks today. And if you feel compelled to follow, you're very welcome to. As you move into your tabletop position, flare out through your hands and then pull your belly button up towards your spine. Drop your belly now towards the floor for cow pose. Pull your collarbones up, your tailbone up. Exhale, cat pose, round and curl like your collarbones could touch your hips. Two more. Breathe in, pull the heart forward, lift the tail up. Then exhale like an arrow to the ground, tuck the tailbone towards the back of your knees. Breathe in, relax the shoulders back and down, pull the head up. Exhale, make space between the shoulder blades as you push the ground away. Neutralize your tabletop and tuck your toes under. And we'll flip to downward facing dog as you lift your hips up and away. Start to move around, pedal your legs out, bend your knees, do anything that allows you to feel more comfortable where you are. Remember that this practice is giving us the ability to check out so that we can actually check in with ourselves. And so release the things that no longer serve what's happening within the bounds of your six foot by two foot mat. And just be here. Take a look forward when you're ready. And we'll take tiny steps to the top of the mat for ragdoll. Separate your feet as wide as your mat will be and relax the crown of your head heavy. Bend your knees as much as you can so that your chest and your thighs come close to touching, and maybe they do. A bind in your hands is appropriate, opposite hand to opposite elbow, or you might interlace your fingers behind the back and give yourself a shoulder stretch. You also may decide that there's no bind necessary and hanging heavy is just what you need after a long day or before the day even begins. Breath in to be here. And then a breath out to stay present. If you took a bind, just release your hands back down to the floor. And then step your feet a little bit closer together. If you want them to touch, they can. Inhale, find a halfway lift. Create some space through your spine. Lengthen forward. And then exhale, forward fold. Rise up for mountain pose or to the hastasana. Reach the fingertips all the way up. Big breath in. Hands to your heart center on the breath out. Reach the arms up as you inhale. And then fold forward for Uttanasana as you exhale. 
halfway lift. Place your hands where they're comfortable, shins or thighs, and charge the crown forward. Find tabletop through your spine. Exhale, step your left leg back, please, and then set your left knee down. Inhale for Anjaneyasana, reach the fingertips up overhead. Take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, just stay, knit the ribs together, lock your left hip on top of your left knee. Breath in here. A tricep side stretch towards the right, bend your left elbow and hook it with your right hand and then start to lean towards the right side of your mat. Open up your side body from your left hip to your left elbow, breathe in. And breathe out. Back through center as we lift up, breath in. Blocks could be helpful. Exhale, half splits, shift your hips back. Flare your right toes towards the ceiling. Find a micro bend or a deeper bend into your right knee as you hinge your heart forward. Like your chest and your thighs are gonna be somewhat parallel to each other, just shifting forward, breathe in. Hinge at your hips a little more as you breathe out. And on your inhale, find a lunge. So bend into your right knee, lift your left. And then exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. Roll up and rise up, mountain pose, reach the fingertips overhead. Hands to your heart center. Reach them back up on the inhale. And exhale, forward fold, dive back down to the ground. Halfway lift as you inhale. We'll step the right leg back, please, and set your right knee down. Rise up for a low crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana, reach the hands overhead. Lock yourself in here as you reach the crown of your head all the way up, lengthening from the groundedness of your right knee. Breath in. Side stretch to the left. Hook your right elbow with your left hand, and then lean to the left side. You might notice I'm gonna lean forward just a little bit more to stretch out the right hip flexor. You can stay a little bit more upright or melt forward, just what you need. Inhale as you reach up and re-extend. And then exhale, half split, shift the hips back, flare the left toes. Blocks, books, pillows, things underneath your hands that bring the floor closer to you might feel really helpful. Understanding that the blocks are not a crutch, they're just something that will help make you more comfortable, and that's really important. Not everything has to be a struggle. Breathe in. And breathe out. Look forward. Inhale for your runner's lunge. And exhale to forward fold, right foot meets left. Rise up to mountain, take a big inhale, breath to movement. Exhale, hands to heart center. Reach up, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Halfway lift, lengthen through the spine and then exhale, step the left leg back and set your left knee down. Rise up for a low crescent, inhale. Your tricep stretch to the right on the breath out. Reach back up and re-extend. And exhale, half splits. You might even fly your fingertips back. Inhale, runners lunge, plant the palms, lift the back knee. Exhale, forward fold, step forward. Rise up and reach up, mountain pose, Urdhva Hastasana. Hands to heart center. Rise up, breathe in. Bow forward, breathe out. Lengthen halfway on your inhale. And then step your right leg back and set your right knee down. Rise up for your Anjaneyasana. And your tricep stretch towards the left. Scoop your right elbow. Inhale as you reach back up. And exhale, half splits, fingers down or fingertips back. Inhale, low runner's lunge. And exhale, forward fold, step through. Rise up one more each side. Breath in. Hands to heart center, breath out. And inhale, we'll reach. Then exhale, we'll fold. Lengthen halfway, take up space through your spine. Left leg back, left knee down as you breathe out. Rise up, Anjaneyasana, big breath in. Side stretch towards the right as you breathe out, scoop your left elbow. Back through center, breathe in. Hinge back, half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana, reach back. Low runner's lunge, inhale, and step forward, exhale. Rise all the way up, please, inhale. Hands to heart center, exhale. Breath in, lift up. Breath out, fold down. Halfway we find length. 
Then we breathe out, step the right foot back, right knee down. Rise up, reach up, inhale. Towards the left side stretch. Through center on your breath in. And then the half splits as you breathe out any way you want. Inhale for your lunge, come forward. Exhale, step forward, forward fold. Roll up and rise up, inhale, mountain pose, big breath in. Hands to heart center, please. This time, inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana, sink the hips back and then reach the fingertips forward, maybe up. Feet can be together or feet can be hip width distance apart. It'll often soften the low back with the knees a little wider. And then you could soften the shoulders by reaching the hands forward or reaching the hands towards your heart. Stay where you need to be, breath in. Fold forward on the breath out. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, step back to your high plank position. Use the block still if you have them or maybe your hands are on the floor. Shift forward to your tiptoes and then drop down to your knees. Lower just halfway, Chaturanga Dandasana, pin the elbows towards your ribs. Upward facing, pull the heart forward, press into the tops of your feet, lift your knees. Then the next hill, downward facing dog, roll over the toes, lift the hips. We'll continue with more traditional Surya Namaskar A's. So just moving forwards and backwards, again, building familiarity. Look forward on your inhale. Travel forward on your exhale. Halfway lift, breath in. Fold forward, breath out. Rise up, reach up, inhale. Hands to heart center, breath out. Inhale as we rise. Then exhale, we'll fold. Halfway, find length. Exhale, palm the mat, step, step back, high plank. Lower down halfway, chaturanga. Inhale for upward facing dog, Urva Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Look forward, please. Travel, top of the mat, Uttanasana, forward fold. Halfway lift, and a forward fold. Roll up to the ceiling, breathe in. Hands to heart center, breathe out. Rise up, inhale. Melt forward, exhale. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Step back, high plank to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Knees or toes, you choose every time. Upward facing dog, heart forward, knees lift. Downward facing dog, chest back, heels melt. Look forward, breathe in. Step forward, breathe out. Halfway, lengthen. Fold, breath out. Rise up, inhale. Hands to heart center, breathe out. Breath in, lift up. Exhale, fold down. Halfway lift. Step back, high plank to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. We'll take this one more time before we move on. Upward facing dog or the back bend of your choice. Downward facing dog, we lift the hips. Look forward, inhale. Travel forward, exhale. Lengthen halfway. And then reset with your fold. Push through your feet, reach up with your hands. Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. And Anjali Mudra, hands to heart center. Reach up, take a breath in. Fold forward, breathe out. Halfway lift. High plank to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Step back and flow through. Upward, inhale. Downward, exhale. Take a breath in where you are, and a breath out. And one more, just like that. Breathe in, and breathe out. Look forward, inhale, and exhale, top of the mat, forward fold. Lengthen halfway, please. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana, sink the hips back, reach the hands high. And this time, I want you to stay low, exhale, figure four. Left ankle comes to sit on top of the right, hands might pull to your heart center. 
give yourself grace to find some balance, or maybe that's what your blocks are gonna be for. They come to the taller setting as you hinge forward. Place the weight into your right heel and sit the hips back so that your right thigh becomes a shelf. Breath in. Breath out. Stork pose, rise up, pull the left knee up with you. And then exhale, warrior three, kick your left heel to the back of the space. Hinge your chest forward so it becomes parallel with the floor. And then flex all five of your toes, pinky toe especially, down towards the ground. Inhale for a high crescent lunge. Take a big step back. Sweep the fingertips up overhead. Breathe in. Stay on the breath out. Maybe soften through the back knee just a little bit so the left hip gets to peel itself open. Inhale. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Reach your right fingertips behind you and your left hand reaches forward. Take an inhale here. Can you twist just a little bit further on the exhale? Inhale, look forward. And as you exhale, chair twist. As you step the left foot forward, chamber left elbow outside of right thigh. Press into your palms, sink your hips back, pull your shoulders together. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen. And exhale, palm the mat, high plank to low plank. Or you might just right step back to downward facing dog. It's up to you. Upward facing dog if you're choosing it. And the rest of us will meet you in downward facing dog. Look forward, breathe in. Travel forward, breathe out. Halfway lift. And a forward fold. Inhale back to chair pose. Push the hips low, reach the fingertips high. And then exhale, figure four. Right ankle crosses over the left. We'll stay as low as possible. Drive your right knee down towards the floor so we can find a little bit more opening on the inside of the right hip. And push the hips back so there's a little more weight into your left heel. Inhale for stork pose. Right knee comes up, draw it up. Exhale for warrior three. As you hinge forward, keep the hips level like headlights face in the ground. So right hip drops just a touch to stay in line with your left. Take a big step back, please. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Reach the fingertips up overhead. And exhale, open arm twist to the left. As you reach your left hand behind you, try to reach your right fingertips a little further away from you towards the front of your room. Shoulder blades are gonna to snuggle together to make sure the collarbones stay wide open. Breathe in. And depth on the breath out. Look forward on your inhale. Step forward, chair twist on your exhale. As you step forward, right tricep outside of left thigh. Push the hips back and make sure your knees are in line with one another. Breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Halfway lift, please. And then exhale, find your flow, chaturanga dandasana, or high, or right back to downward facing dog. Hips up and back, breathe in. Settle in, breathe out. Let's take that breath to movement just a couple times. Look forward, and then travel, top of the mat, forward fold. Halfway lift, and a forward fold. Rise up for chair pose, please. Utkatasana, breath in. Figure four as your left ankle crosses over the right, sink low. Inhale for stork, reach up. Exhale for warrior three, your airplane, Dakasana. High crescent lunge, please, Chandrasana. Reach the fingertips up. Open arm twist to the right as you breathe out. Look forward on your inhale. Exhale, chair twist, step forward, hook the elbows. Breathe in and fold forward, breathe out. Halfway lift, high plank to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing, take an inhale. Downward facing, big exhale. Look forward and then travel, top of the mat, forward fold. Lengthen halfway and we'll fold again. Inhale for chair pose, sink the hips, rise the hands. 
Exhale, right ankle crosses over, figure four. Stork pose as you rise up, take a big breath in. And then warrior three as you kick your way back. Inhale, high crescent lunge, step back and reach the hands up. Open arm twist, breathe out. Look forward on your inhale. Exhale, chair twist, palms together, elbows hook. A breath in to stay, and a breath out to fold. Halfway lift. Palm the mat, please. Set back, high plank position, or skip it and meet me in downward facing dog. Inhale, upward facing. And exhale, downward facing. Last time, please look forward. Travel, top of the mat, forward fold. Listen for change, halfway lift. And a forward fold. Rise up, chair pose. Figure four, left ankle over right, we sink back. Stork as you rise, lift the left knee. Kick back for warrior three, breathe out. High crescent lunge, step back, reach the hands up. Open arm twist as you breathe out. Look forward, shift forward. Exhale, chair twist, palms together. This time inhale for chair pose. And then exhale, figure four, right ankle comes up and crosses right into the second side. Inhale for stork pose, pull the right knee up. Exhale, kick it back for warrior three. High crescent as you step back, reach the hands high. Exhale, open twist. Look forward and shift. And exhale, chair twist as you sink, push the palms together. Inhale for chair pose this time. Now exhale, forward fold. Lengthen halfway. Palm the mat, please. High plank to low plank. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Urva Mukha, breathe in. Naro Mukha, breathe out. Steady your breath in here. Steady your breath out. Reach your right leg high for me, please. Three point, three-legged downward facing dog. Level your hips out just like you did in warrior three and engage your right glute to lift your right heel. And then knee to chest as you step through, right foot between the palms. Prepare for warrior two, left heel turns and pivots back. So your back foot is parallel to the short edge of your mat and then rise your chest up to face the left side of the room. Bend into your right knee until it tracks over your right ankle and then no further. Then reach your arms again, forward and backwards. We've been expanding in certain ways all class long. Breath in here. Side angle on the exhale, maybe right forearm, right thigh, maybe hand towards the floor or a block, but your left hand goes overhead. Relax your left shoulder away from your ear as you reach forward, palm facing down. And then try to pivot your right lung towards the ceiling. Breath in. Mm, breath out. Reverse triangle, please. Straighten through your right leg. Reach your right hand all the way up and back. And then exhale, palm the mat, high plank to low plank, or downward facing dog, you choose. Upward facing, breathe in. Downward facing, breathe out. Reach your left leg high, inhale. Level off on the exhale. Inhale to squeeze the left glute a little harder. And then exhale, think knee to chest as you round through, step through. Prepare for warrior two, back heel pivots down, reach the arms open, face now the right side of your room. Take up space on your mat. This is oftentimes gonna be the widest stance we have. No need to shrink, no need to make ourselves smaller. Breath in. Exhale, side angle, maybe left forearm, left thigh or further, and then top hand overhead. Like you have a long line of energy from your right middle finger to the very edge of your right foot and then begin to pivot your right shoulder a little further behind you so you start to feel a twist engage through your midsection. Inhale, reverse triangle pose. Straighten through your left leg, reach your left fingertips up, and then palm the mat, high plank to low plank, and we'll flow through together. 
Upward facing, find an inhale. Downward facing, take an exhale. Breath to movement one time and then we'll build. Right leg high, please, inhale. Step through on your exhale. Warrior two, breathe in, lift up. Side angle on the exhale, your depth. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten the right leg, push up and away. And then palm the mat, high plank to low plank. Upward facing, breathe in. Downward facing, breathe out. Left leg lifts, inhale. Steps through on the exhale. Warrior two, breathe in, peel open. Side angle as you exhale, sweep forward. Reverse triangle, please reach up and away. And then palm the mat, high plank to low plank. Upward facing. And then downward facing dog. Breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Breath out. Let's add on. Three point right leg, lift up. Step all the way through. Warrior two, heel up and open. Side angle, same, same, breathe out. Inhale, reverse triangle pose, lengthen the right leg, reach up and away. And this time triangle pose, Trikonasana. I'm gonna pull the back foot in just a little bit, kick the hips to the back of my space, and then reach forward and down. My preference is a block behind my right ankle. It's gonna be up to you on whatever you need. If the block is not necessarily a resource that we have, right hand to right shin, maybe even right hand to right thigh. Rather than locking out your right knee, can you invite a micro bend so that your muscles get to engage around your joints? Steady, breathe in. Steady, you're on the breath out. Bend into your right knee, please. Scoot the left foot back. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach the right fingertips up and away. With a little bit of momentum, please, we'll move towards balancing half moon. You might want to block or you might not. And as you peel your chest and your hips open to face the left side of your room, engage the outer left hip to lift it a little higher. Breathe in. And breathe out. Take a big step back, turn sideways. Inhale, star pose, lift up, lengthen up, breathe in. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Hinge at your hips, turn your toes a little further in than they just were. Allow this to be a moment in your practice where you can do anything that feels good. It might be a skandhasana movement from side to side. It might be some twists, opposite arm to the ceiling, opposite arm under your nose. It could be anything. But the only thing it needs to be is what feels good to you. So be here for three. For two. And on one, find a halfway lift, please. Lengthen through your spine. Exhale, skandhasana to the back of your mat. Bend your left knee. Lengthen your right leg long. Chest up, heart up. Maybe the hands come up. Breathe in. And exhale, lunge to the front of your space. Inhale, three-legged downward facing dog. Reach the right leg high. And then downward facing dog. Just plant the right foot exactly where it was. Three-point left side, please, last time. And exhale, step the left foot in between your palms. Inhale for warrior two, open up. Side angle on the exhale, you choose your depth. Reverse triangle, please, lengthen up, reach up, breathe in. And then exhale, triangle pose. So the right foot's gonna kick in just a little bit. Hips move to the back of the space and we lean forward and down with the aid of a block or a shin or of our left thigh, we still find support where we need it when we want it. Make a long line of energy from your right fingertips to your left. And then from the top of your right hip out through the crown of your head. Breath in. 
and out. Bend back into your left knee. Scoot your right foot back just a hair. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach all the way up and away. And then take your time to get there, balancing half moon. Push off of your right foot so you can balance on your left and keep your hips and your heart open to face the right side of your space. Engage through your right foot. Breathe in. And out. Take a big step back. Turn sideways. Inhale, star pose. Reach up, lengthen up. And exhale, forward fold. Allow yourself to be heavy here. Make movement here. Or find stillness. Make the movements and the choices yours and yours alone. Things you want to do, not things you feel you should do or things you have to do. And breathe in. And breathe out. Find a halfway lift, just tent your fingertips. And then exhale, skandasana, back of the mat. Bend your right knee, pull your heart open. Hands up or hands down, you get to choose. Breathe in. Lunge to the front of the room, on the breath out. Three-legged downward facing dog, inhale, reach up. Downward facing dog, let it go. Breath in, reach the right leg high. Exhale, half pigeon, right knee behind your right wrist. And then your left shin might run a little bit more down the midline of your mat than anything. It doesn't have to be behind your left wrist. Left ankle and your left leg run directly behind your left hip, so there's a full extension there. And then you're very welcome to fold forward using your blocks as a support system. And there also might be a block underneath your right hip. We've moved quite a bit and quite quickly for this short class. So give yourself the grace of rest, of pause, and of a little bit of reflection. And soften back into your breath, getting to know it all over again. Getting to reconvene your mind, your body, and your breath all together at once. And what else do you need? What else do you want? If there's different variations of a hip stretch that you prefer, please know that you have the autonomy to take them. And you also have the autonomy to stay. The best part about a film class is that you can pause it whenever you want. You can stay and linger wherever you'd like to. So give yourself the opportunity to linger and to stay if that's what serves you. The only place we're moving is the next side. So when you're ready, press into your palms, tuck your back toes, and then sweep your right leg high to the sky for me, please. Three-legged downward facing dog. And bend your right knee and open up your right hip as if you're squeezing your right hip towards your left glute. You might stay here, you might flip your dog all the way over so the right foot would land, hips press up, almost like a three-pointed wheel. And breath in. And as you breathe out, come back through center, down dog. Left leg lifts, reach up. Half pigeon on the exhale, left knee behind the left wrist. Let your left ankle run where it needs to go and then extend your right leg long behind you. Stay upright or begin to fold forward. Acknowledge the uniqueness and the nuance right to left side. And notice if it needs anything different so that it feels the same. Honor your body now. Get in tune with it now for what it is right now. Not for what it was capable of yesterday or a few minutes ago or a week ago. Right now. You are an ever-evolving person, creature, existence. And so we treat ourselves as uniquely as we are each and every single day. Breathe in. And out. And pause and stay if that's what is desirable. 
And if you're ready to move on, plant your palms into the ground, tuck your right toes, and then lift your left leg. Three point. Bend your knee, peel your hip open, squeeze through your hamstring to open your hip. And then maybe you flip your dog all the way over. Left foot lands behind you, your three-pointed wheel extends, hips up. And then downward facing dog is where we'll meet. Look forward on the breath in. And exhale, come down to your knees. And then come down to your belly. We'll set up for a few rounds of rolling cobra before we simply roll over onto our backs. So for rolling cobra, I want you to tent your fingertips out to the sides of your mat with your elbows up above your wrists, almost like an upside down goalpost. And then untuck your toes so the tops of your feet are flush to the mat and then relax your forehead down. I want you to push into your fingertips and press your hips down. On your inhale, roll up very slowly for a rolling cobra. And then slowly melt back down, same pace. Two more. Push into the finger pads, lift up. Maybe you start to straighten your arms. And then roll all the way back down. Let's do that once more, please. Roll up, lift up. Breathe in and lower down on the breath out. And press up and back. Find an embryo pose, which means your knees are together, hips to heels. It's like a closed kneed child's pose. And then reach your arms back by your heels, palms facing up, tops of the hands on the mat. Forehead reaches down onto the mat. If your forehead does not reach super comfortably, I want you to bring a block underneath your forehead so that it does, or a pillow, or any resource that's available to you. Allow your shoulders to roll further away from one another. Relax the tension that you hold in certain spaces. For most of us, it is the shoulders, it is the jawline, and it's the space between the eyebrows. Can you notice and offer extra intention to those places? To soften, to create space, and to further expand your breath. In the softest way, you know how, push into your palms, lift your chest up, and then I want you to swing your legs around towards the front of your mat, and then come down to lying on your backs. A few twists and a happy baby, and we'll be well into Shavasana. So as you lie down onto your mat, send your left leg long, pull your right knee in, give it a hug and a squeeze. And then as you exhale, supine twist. So upper half stays exactly where it is, facing the ceiling. Twist from your mid belly to send your right knee towards the left side of your room. Let your hips stack on one another. So right hip is going to be on top of the left. And your right shoulder becomes the anchor point of this posture. I have a block underneath my right knee for a little more support. And you're very welcome to do the same. Or maybe even something softer. Relax the muscles in your belly. Make space between each thought that runs through your mind. Breathe in. And release. Come back in through center, and this time hug both knees in. Give ourselves a, a mental and physical reset. And then right leg falls long. Your left knee is going to hug in. Squeeze it really tightly. And then supine twist. Take the left knee towards the left, to the right side of your room. 
Now shoulders stay exactly where they were because the importance is not whether or not your knee touches the ground. The importance is the softness in the low back that you feel, the depth of the twist in your mid back that you feel. And then the actual groundedness that you feel in your upper back and your shoulders. We're looking for different sensations as we work our way all the way up the spine. And steady yourself on the inhale. And then on the exhale. And we pull back in through center. Knees hug in and they might stay right here or you might move into happy baby. And so soles of the feet flare up towards the ceiling, bent knees come to the outsides of your shoulders. I'm gonna grab onto my ankles because it feels more accessible today. But you're welcome to grab onto the back of your knees or maybe even the outer edges of your feet. You can rock side to side, find movement, find a playfulness within the posture. And rather than gripping through the shoulders, the only place I want you to be gripping is with your hands. From where you are, stay or maybe gather your knees in if you're ready. Hug your knees in tightly towards your chest. And then expand out into your final resting pose. Shavasana. You take up a lot of space on your mat. Make a shape that allows you to feel comfortable and something that makes you want to stay. Give yourself Five minutes here. Give yourself time because you have it and you deserve to take it. You might give yourself 10 minutes here or maybe even longer because you have the time and you deserve to use it. I'll leave you exactly as you are, knowing that this is exactly where you have decided to be and should be for now. And very gently, I'll leave you here, and I'll see you on your mat soon. <laughs>